Hello, KW agents. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to create a real quick video that walks you through a couple of smart plans. Um, today, we're just going to talk about the quarterly call plan. So remember, smart plans are basically things that can add automation and give you time back and leverage your business. So essentially what a smart plan is, is it allows you to say, okay, here's the follow-up plan that I want to use with this person. And then you can add them to a smart plan and it will automatically either follow up on your behalf or remind you to do the follow-up. So the reason why I wanted to talk about the quarterly call plan is because we know from the MREA book that you should be reaching out to everybody at least four times a year or once a quarter, approximately every 90 days. Why I think that's really important is because you're having a lot of conversations right now um, during this time where you're just asking, how are you? Is there anything I can do to help you? That's fantastic. And we need to make sure that we're continuing to have those conversations. And so the SMART plan is what allows you to bring leverage where you can automatically be reminded to reach out. So we're going to log into command just by going to agent kw.com and then we've got smart plans which um, when we're looking over here on the left it's the fourth one down are smart plans so Keller Williams has smart plans that they've created for you that you can add to your library so the first thing that we would need to do is just to go into the library tab and then these are all the smart plans that we could pick from the one that we're going to use is the quarterly call plan so if we wanted to add that to our library, we would just come down here where it says add smart plan and we'd be able to add it to our library. So then once we've added it, we've got that under my smart plans. So if we scroll down, we'll see quarterly call plan over here on the left, we can see. So what it's going to do is it's going to prompt me to make a phone call, then it's going to wait 90 days, then it's going to tell me to make another phone call. And so it's just going to continue to do that every single 90 days. So if I wanted to add contacts from here, I would just have my quarterly call plan. Then I come all the way over to the right and I would click the button that says add contact. And this is where it gives you a couple of really cool options. So you can search by the name, you can search by tags. I can select all of my contacts. I can include shared contacts if I'm looking at a team. I can decide how I'm sorting the contacts. So let's say that we wanted to pull in a tag of contacts. So maybe we want to add a winter park. So I would pick that and then I'm gonna say, um, we'll just do select all for now. So I've got 20 on this screen that I would want to add, right? And so down here at the bottom, I would say, okay, I wanna add all of these contacts to a smart plan. Now here's where you have some really cool options. So I can say, I wanna start everybody now on this smart plan, or I wanna start on the following date. Now these are okay options, but remember, let's say that I was adding 100 contacts to this smart plan. That means that 90 days from now, I'm going to get a reminder that I have to call these 100 contacts on that day, which I think is just a lot of work. <laughs> so they've given you an option, which is to stagger the start over the next few days. So it says staggering allows you to distribute when the smart plan starts for a large group of people. You can choose to start the smart plan for X amount of people per business day until all are added to the smart plan. So for example, if you add 11 contacts to a smart plan and stagger four per day, then the smart plan would activate for four contacts today, four tomorrow, and three on the third day. So I'm going to set here and say I'm comfortable calling maybe um, 10 contacts a day. So I would pick this one and then I would say I'm good to call 10 people a day and then I would hit confirm. And so then what happens is, let's just say I was really adding 100 people, it would remind me for 10 business days, so essentially two weeks, to call those 10 people every day. And then honestly, the best practice is once you get that reminder to call them, either through your Kelly app on your phone, or remember that tasks will always show up on your command dashboard, um, just right here. So we've got tasks right here, so they'll show up here. I'll also get a Kelly notification. I think best practice would be once you get reminded to call those 10 people, to go into the contact section, and then to look at the notes under that contact. That'll kind of trigger you with the last conversation that you had with them and make, maybe make that phone call a little bit easier to reach out.
Now you can also add contacts to a smart plan directly in the contact section. Um, so if I wanted to add multiple contacts, maybe I just say I want to add everybody. I can come in here and once I start clicking those buttons, I've got bulk action up here. And then one of the options is add to smart plan. And then it's the same thing. I could choose that quarterly call plan and then I get that same option. So you can add them either directly under smart plans or directly under contacts. So really, I think it's really, really important that this is a smart plan. If you're gonna implement one smart plan in your business starting today, this would be the one I would recommend just so that we're not forgetting about that follow-up and we're continuing with that follow-up. So if you guys have any questions or there's anything I can do to help you, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.